In this video I'll show you how to connect your HP DeskJet 3700 series like this 3772 printer here to your PC computer using a USB cable. They don't come with a USB cable in the box. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one of these on Amazon. You can check them out. It also supports my channel. So let me show you what to do once you have the cable. So first we'll connect the cable to the printer and the computer. You just have to turn it around. The port is over here in the back. You'll take this end of the cable and you're gonna plug it. Next step is to connect the USB cable to your computer. Here I have a USB stick, I'll remove it. like this. You need to go on the Microsoft store and type HP Smart to download the HP uh, app to make it work. Okay, so it's this one over here. I already install it. So I'll just open it. And it should look like this. First step is to click on Add Printer. In my case, automatically it has detected the HP 3700 printer automatically. I won't have anything to do to uh, sync them. But maybe in your case, you'll have this screen appearing where you can add a printer. So go ahead and click on add printer and it will search. And uh, yeah, you should find your printer in this list. You see HP 3700 series and you just have to click on it. If again, you don't see it in this list, you're just gonna click on my printer isn't listed. Find my printer and it will search again for uh, your printer. So once you have selected your printer from the list, it will ask you if you want to connect it via Wi-Fi or via USB. In our case, it's USB, so we'll click the second option and press continue. You'll have to select accept all. And here it will ask you to create an HP account to have access to all the features that your printer has. And to make this more simple, look, I'll, I'll just skip it for now and I'll show you what you'll miss out if you decide to not create an account or sign it in, sign in in your existing HP account. So I'll press skip account activation for the moment, then skip account activation again. Here they will try you to sell their subscription service. You just have to go down and click on skip ink benefit. Skip offer, they're very persistent. Now they'll ask you if you want the printer to update automatically or if you just want to be notified and then update it manually. This is up to you. I prefer choosing auto update so I don't have to worry about this. Press apply. And now your setup is finally completed. You can print this uh, page but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't add anything. I think it just uses your ink for absolutely nothing. So I suggest you skip printing page instead of pressing print. And you're done. Your printer will appear on the top over here with the ink supply levels. But since we're not logged in into an HP account, although we have many options down below to fax, I mean to scan, to print pictures or documents, you won't be able to use them. So this is the limitation I was talking about because if you click on one, let's say I don't know, print document, something very basic. It will ask you to create an account. You won't be able to do much without an HP account. This is a shame, but this is how it works. 
once you have logged in into your HP account, you'll be able to go back in this main menu page and use each of these buttons to scan, print pictures or documents. I hope this was useful. Please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.